Namaskaram, welcome to P Gurus. I'm your host JK for today. We might have a lot of difference of opinion with uh, Mohandas Karamchand Gandhi, but one thing that he has said has to be taken as it is, and that is the soul of India lives in its village, not just when he said it, but even today. And there are a lot of rituals, functions, events that celebrates Hinduism or what we call as Sanatana Dharma. We in P Gurus always been trying to ensure that the Indianness, the Bharatiya nature of this soil is preserved as well as protected as well as propagated. This is one such program, rather one such video that we thought you all should know about. A special event down south in a village near Sirgari that celebrates an event called Vedupari. This year, the event falls on April 4th, 2023. It's a night long event. And just to explain more about this, we have a very, very special guest with us, uh, an eminent scholar and an orator. And he's been doing a lot of Upanyasam. And we are really, really happy and proud to be associated with him and happy to welcome him for this program. Namaskaram, Swami. How are you? Namaskaram. Fine. We are really happy to have you here today you know, to explain more about this event. We know this has been happening for a lot of time, a lot of years. Uh, we do not know when it started, uh, to be precise. But we want to hear it from you the significance of this event and who are we celebrating in this and what 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 is it for the devotees this uh, celebration which is called uh, thiruvedupari festival it is very famous in uh, tamil nadu of uh, the sri vaishnava lineage almost everyone will be aware of this festival they come here they celebrate it in great joy and uh, we have uh, thousands and thousands of people pouring in every year from all over the world particularly the Sri Vaishnava uh, community people they celebrate this uh, festival with great pomp and gaiety so uh, you had asked a very profound question uh, regarding Thirumangi Alvar and Thiruvedvari uh, festival Bhagavan Ranganatha of uh, Srirangam thinks it is high time that uh, we should uh, uh, take Thirumangi Alvar into our fold. We should make Thirumangi Mannan, that is the ruler of Thirumangi as the Alvar of Thirumangi, should be done immediately. So he comes to Thiruvali, a place here. So this is the actual part of the Utsavam we are talking about. See, the Utsavam comes as a, uh, what do you call, uh, the highlight of uh, Thirumangi Alvar's uh, life. Right. So Thirumangi, Thirumangi Mannan, the ruler of Thirumangi Mannan, the Thirumangi becomes the Alvar of Thirumangi. So that is the actual crux of the Utsav. And how he becomes, that is what is uh, being uh, enacted every year at Thirumanang Kollai. So what is the greatness of this Utsav is? It is enacted at the same place where the incident I am going to relate to you now is, has actually happened. So Lord Ranganada uh, from uh, Sri Rangam, he comes to Thiruvali. At Thiruvali, there is one Maharishi called the Purna Maharishi. This Purna Maharishi has a daughter called Amrita Valli, Amrita Ghatta Valli. So, Bhagavan comes to Purna Maharishi, gets the hand of uh, Amrita Ghatta Valli. She is the Lakshmi uh, avatar of uh, Sri Maharishi. So, they enter into a wedlock at Thiruvali. So this happens even now. This is how it is enacted. I mean, you may say it is enacted, but actually it is called Archavatara. In, uh, this, in the Sampradaya terms, we don't call it enacting or we don't call it Vidambanam or a Nataka. It's not like a Nataka. It is the true thing that happens in Archa form, that is idol form. So at Trivali, the marriage takes place around, say, uh, uh, between 4 and 6 p.m. In the evening that is before the uh, Palguni Palguna Masam Uttara Nakshatra Uttara Palguni Nakshatra 
Uttara Falguni Nakshatra, the day before the Uttara Falguni Nakshatra in Falguna Masa is when this festival is actually celebrated. On Falguna, Uttara Falguni, uh, we have the chariot processions of the Lord here actually. So, the uh, Ranganatha, the Ranganatha here is called Kalyana Ranganatha here. This Kalyana Ranganatha goes to Thiruvali. They, uh, there is a Thirukalyana Utsam, that is a marriage festival that happens between Amrita Valli, uh, Nachiyar and uh, uh, Ranganatha. So, what happened thousands of years ago, thousands of years ago, the same thing happened. Ranganatha came from uh, Sri Rangam. He married Purnamagrishi's uh, daughter. So, th th that was a grand wedding attended by almost all the celestials. So, a uh, lot of money, a lot of uh, things. See, when so much money is uh, 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 was spent on a marriage, even nowadays, it is uh, actually, it goes viral. Yeah. So, even nowadays, it goes viral. So, so much, uh, so on, someone has uh, spent so much on someone, uh, this, uh, his daughter's uh, marriage or something. So, this message reaches Thirmangi Alvar. And uh, one thing I should say, Thirmangi Alvar had uh, some eight ministers. According to the legend, according to the uh, Sri Vishnu Guru Parampara, he had eight uh, ministers who were actually Siddha Purushas. Their name suggests that they were, they were all Siddhas. The names are uh, like this, Nirmel Nadappan, that is one who can walk on water. On any water surface he can walk. Nirmel Nadappan, Nidalilu Dunguvan, that is he can follow anybody without them uh, knowing that they, they are being followed. They might be uh, uh, as intelligent as anybody uh, 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 under the sun, but they will not be able to spot this person he can follow. So, Nidalilu Dungu one. So, the, he, was, he had a spy like that. Thalu Duvan. Thalu Duvan is a person who can unlock any lock that is uh, uh, in the available in the world. He was called Thalu Duvan. And another person is called Thola Varakkan. Thola Varakkan means he was a master litigant. So, say he wants to annex some property, he can just wage a case and say uh, all things that are, uh, that is, he can use the law uh, to usurp anything from anybody. So, he had such a person, Thalu, Thola Varakkan. So, this it will go, uh, that is called, uh, that is beyond the scope of what I am talking now. So, he had such ministers, eight such ministers who were able to uh, work for Thirumangai uh, Mannan. So, Parakala, he called Parakala Sui or Parakala. So, we, we can imagine, see, people of such caliber, if they can, uh, if they work under somebody, you should just imagine what his caliber should be. Otherwise, why should anybody work for somebody who are uh, uh, less oriented or less capable than them? So, he had such uh, highly capable ministers. So, these ministers come to him and say, there is a grand wedding going on in Thiruvali. And uh, see, the riches, uh, just we cannot explain. Such riches are uh, being carried away by the uh, daughter and the uh, bride and the bridegroom there. So, we have one day left. For the Tadi Aradhana. See, we have one more day. So, it was the last day, penultimate day. Uh, Ranganatha actually has come here. So, if you are able to uh, capture all the booty from the wedding party, then we'll have done. We'll be done with the one year of uh, uh, Tadi Aradhana or feeding the devotees. So, the so, party. It actually happened at a place called Thirumanangolai. Thousands of years ago, during the uh, time of Thirumanangolai, it happened at a place called Thirumanangolai. So, it happens at the very same place. So, the sanctity of this festival is like this. It is happening place where Thirumangi Alvar waylaid Lord Ranganatha thousands and thousands of years ago. At least 5000 years ago, this waylaying took place. And at the very place where the veiling took place, it is called Thirumanangolai, a sanctified, glorious place. And it is happening at the very place even now. So, Ranganatha comes there, Thirumangi Alvar, at the behest of his uh, messengers, mantris, that is ministers, goes there, goes round them in his, in his uh, uh, horse. It is called Adalma, a glorified horse. He has sung about the horse in itself. 
in his uh, um, uh, prabandhams so he goes there and uh, actually ask them ask the uh, uh, bride and the bridegroom as to where they are going and they say they are we are just married we are just crossing this place and we are going to srirangam and he said i am on a, a very divine errand so you should give the booty all the uh, things you have all the riches you have with you you just unload everything here and just move uh, go away i'll just leave you alive i'll not do anything to you you just you may just go uh, leaving behind the riches so the lord of the three worlds bhagavan shiva narayana ranganatha uh, uh, gives everything everything actually the booty is actually made in a it is taken in a big sack and uh, put near thirumangi alvar say i said thirumangi alvar defeated almost 5 lakh people and he was so uh, he, a person of unimaginable strength and valor he could not move the booty so he tried to take the booty away he could not move the booty so he became suspicious he saw the bridegroom and said to him you seem to be a brahmin he was a brahmin andanala rara aniyali ammane he sings like that so you you seem to be a brahmin and uh, you are uh, adept at casting a spell and uh, this, uh, on this booty so it's not being uh, it is un- immovable by me so i am such a, a person of such strength i am not able to move this uh, small sack so uh, i am very much suspicious about you you have done some mantra vada you have, you have, you have put some spell to tell me the mantra so this is what uh, thirumangi alvar actually asks uh, the um, ranganatha immediately uh, the bride says nam kaliyano kaliya means a person of immeasurable strength and valor actually in tirupavai also we have a line saying kappam devirkum kaliye thuilalai it means kali means a person of uh, uh, unbound strength such a high strength being a person of such strength you are not able to move this so this uh, exclamation is done by the thayar that is shri devi herself so uh, immediately tirumangi mannan brandishes his sword he puts it on the neck of uh, ranganatha and says come on tell me the mantra tell me the mantra what is the mantra what is the spell you have caught, uh, cast on this uh, here cast on this booty i am not able to move so immediately see uh, lord ranganatha on his right ear on the right ear of tirumangi alvar gives the upadesha of ashtakshara mantra that is narayana maha mantra immediately that is uh, the something happens to uh, to trimangi alvar a transformation the transformation that is see we have, we have heard of purandara dasa might have heard of purandara dasa in that in that second split second the fraction of a second something happens to them and similarly trimangi alvar was uh, given mayarvara madinalam that is what they say actually mayarvara madinalam means bhagavan out of his uh, infinite compassion uh, grants on tirumangi alvar madinalam that is jnana a jnana mayarvara madinalam that is jnana knowledge beyond doubt the knowledge of the micro and the macro of anything and everything in the universe so that is called jnana so who am i who is he what is our relationship to this world what am i doing what is the what is birth what is death what is salvation what is moksha so if you see tirumangi alvars so similar he goes into a trance on hearing the ashtakshara from uh, lord ranganatha and immediately starts pouring out his uh, emotions in the form of pasurams he says vaadi nen vaadi varundi nen manathal perundu irudumbayil pirandu koodinen koodi ilaiyavar thammoda avardarum kalaviye karuthi 
ஓடினேன் ஓடி ஒய்வதார் ஒய்வதோர் பொருளால் உணர்வனும் பெரும்பதம் தெரிந்து நாடினேன் நாடி நான் கண்டு கொண்டேன் நாராயணா என்னும் நாமம் ஸோ திஸ் இஸ் ஹவு ஹி ஆக்சுவலி சம்ஸ் அப் ஹிஸ் எமோஷன் ஹி சேஸ் வாடினேன் வாடி சி ஆல் திஸ் இயர்ஸ் ஐ ஹவ் பீன் அப்யூசிங் திஸ் லைஃப் தட் இஸ் திஸ் மெட்டீரியல் லைஃப் இஸ் வாட் ஐ தாட் டு பி லைஃப் நவ் ஐ அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்ட் வாட் திஸ் நாராயணா நாமம் மீன்ஸ் so he bursts forth into unpremeditated spontaneous uh, 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 creation of pasurams pasurams or hymns tamil hymns so numbers are around 1000 so thirumang alvars have uh, sung 4000 pasurams and among this 4000 pasurams lion share is taken by uh, namalvar and thirumangi alvar namalvar uh, has sang around 1000 and odd pasarams and thirumangi alvar has sang 1000 and odd pasarams so the rest of the 10 alvars they have sang 2000 pasarams all together thirumangi alvar has sang alone sang 1000 pasarams and he is called uh, chatushkavi that is he could compose on various meters on various lines on various themes uh, relating to lord bhagavan shiva narayana so during uh, when thirumangi alvar's uh, lifetime he lived for 120 years it seems during his uh, last days when he was at tirukurungudi all uh, at the entreaties of uh, all his devotees he embraced his vigraha and uh, inst- asked them to install it in tirunagari that is here so the vigraha or the archa roopa we see here now it is embraced by the thirumangi alvar in his vibhava that is when he was uh, walking in this world you know during his sojourn in this world in human form so he embraced this idol and uh, installed it here in the uh, in tirunagari the place from where i am uh, just now uh, uh, talking to you so in tirunagari alvar is taken uh, he, he goes around this place uh, on uh, the day before the uttara falguni uh, nakshatra on the falguna masa on the night around 12 pm he starts from here in his golden horse the horse is called adalma this adalma also actually lived along with thirumangi alvar during his uh, vibhava avatara during his days here uh, in human form in adalma he goes there and uh, the kalyana ranganatha who uh, gave the upadesha of ashtakshara to thirumangi th- alvar he goes to tiruvalli early in the, the morning the same day and the entrance into a bedlock there is a kalyana utsava that happens at tiruvalli so from tiruvalli they reach tirumanangollai where the veilaying took place actually uh, thousands of years ago so we have persons here who are uh, uh, enjoying the, the duty of the messengers doodu doodu solradu they say it doodu they got the messengers who convey the message to tirumangi alvar at about uh, 12 uh, uh, midnight 12 am they convey that uh, there is a, a marriage party uh, which is there at tirumanangollai it will be nice that if you start immediately so tirumangi alvar he starts from here with lot of uh, uh, in uh, pomp and gaiety he goes there the veilaying takes place between 12:30 and 1:30 uh, midnight at the tirumanangollai so what is the what is the greatness of tirumanangollai according to the acharyas it is the place where tiruvashtakshara that is mahamantra thiru uh, narayana mahamantra has taken birth actually there are only two places in this world which where uh, tirumantra has taken place you call something called sthana vishesha sthana balam that is the place has unique power the uh, why because one is badrina in badrina narayana does the upadesha of ashtakshara mantra to nara and nara is none, none but narayana himself so narayana wanted to do upadesha or something that, that is uh, 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 very uh, divine uh, very sanctified uh, mantra so he wanted a person uh, a person who can uh, receive such a mantra and he could not see anybody of that caliber to whom he could uh, do the upadesha so he made himself nara and that did the upadesha to himself so 
so the the first place where the ashtakshara mantra upadesha took place is badri badrinath badri dham so the second place where the ashtakshara mantra upadesha took place is tirumanangollai in tamil nadu in the in the mailadurai uh, uh, district uh, current mailadurai district so the, what they say vada madurayan see the acharyas they say in their vyakhyanam in their commentaries vada madurayan ayodhyan in the tirumanangolai ku sadrsham agadu that is see ayodhya or mathura or is the place where bhagavan was born but this tirumanangolai is the place where the mantra was born so mantra is more nearer to us than the uh, bhagavan so this is the this place is more sanctified this place is more holier and uh, this place is more glorious than either uh, ayodhya or mathura combined together so that such is the hallowed uh, uh, what do you call uh, sanctity of the place this tirumanangolai so it is this tirumanangolai so as uh, our jk told on april 4th night this year this festival is going to take place here so uh, that is nothing can beat nothing can equal the festival the pomp the gaiety with which tirumangal var uh, uh, starts from here he goes there does the veiling these all take place uh, like how it would, should have taken place thousands of years ago so when is transport to the riam uh, which is beyond uh, what do you call uh, uh, words so one should be uh, see it uh, enjoy it to believe it so that's what i would like to say here you have to be here on april 4th midnight to really see what it is right to be there i guess you will be just like how tirumangal var went into the trance mode you can feel the same uh, on that night on april 4th uh, i wish everyone who is watching this program to come over to see garri to tirunagari and i guess swami ji will also be there embar swami will also be there and we all can be together and uh, have a great a uh, devotional night on april 4 thank you very much swami i guess we have just uh, took a, uh, took us across all, all about tirumangal var the place choda kingdom what not i guess it it was everything thank you very much once again uh, thank you thank you thank you